Hi and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. Today I just want to highlight a pretty clever approach by Creative Tools how to minimize waste and cost when buying filaments. Instead of the traditional approach of uh, selling a filament spool with the actual plastic spool that you then throw away when you're done with it, Creative Tools built upon Richard Horn's original master spool ID, with some added twists, of course. Before you ask, the master spool and echo refill is compatible. To really see what's special about the echo refill, I think we should unbox the spool and assemble it, and then you'll see what I mean. So notice how the box looks. They have like these uh, outlines on the outside, and there's actually a window inside because there are no spool. So you take out your roll. You can see this is some uh, PLA, 800 grams. You see it's only held together with three zip ties. That's pretty neat. So you need a center spool holder, which I of course 3D print. The problem with this is that it doesn't look very good on this type of printer with a time lapse. But uh, <laughs> here's something anyways, just to make you happy. So then you take that off and whip, you do two of them. Of course you need two of them, so you put them together and that's your center of the spool. With that done, you um, basically take the outside of the cardboard box. There's two sides. And as you can see, the spool center is supposed to be near the middle. So all you have to do is to cut out the, uh, the cardboard box and cut out this circle. Uh, I would recommend a uh, scissor instead of the knife. That was much easier. So when you have one, you just press this together. So you press it over, there's some tensioning but that's good, so it stays in place. Uh, looks really good. So when you have one, it's time to make two. And I'm, I'm gonna try some magic. Um, no, no, uh, let's do, ah, there we go. So yeah, now I have two. Much easier, and you see how they go together. I have some locating pins, so you don't put them wrong. All right. Next up, open up the actual filament. We haven't done that yet. Uh, when you do this, it's important to remember that you want to keep this little sticker because you're actually going to use that later on. Continue to get the spool out and what I like to do is to make sure that I keep track on the end of the spool. That's really important, otherwise you can really mess things up. So your position is over, you can see how the zip ties align with the three holes. And then what I like to do is that I actually like bend over the zip ties, it makes it easier to remove them later on. So I'm doing that for all three. Then we need to uh, put on the other side, make sure the locating pin and the, everything is connected together. So there's no gaps. Then you take two extra zip ties. These are not included. So you have to get those yourself. And basically you tension the two green parts together. So with some pressure here, something like that. Yeah, that's a good fit. Everything's tight. Repeat on the other side and then you can cut the ends off. Now we use the sticker, so we actually sticker this on onto the cardboard side. That's pretty neat actually. Looking good. So what I like to do then is to, before we cut off the white zip ties, is to remove some of the end here and make a small, small hole on the side in the cardboard. You guessed it, it's a filament trap. <laughs> I don't know if it's called a trap. All right, so then you basically unclick the zip ties and you pull them out. So repeat for all three sides. And you have a spool ready to use. Super cheap, super simple, and all the parts you can reuse, except for the filament. So what I really like about this is that you actually reduce cost all the way from the factories. So not only can you save a few dollars on not buying the actual plastic spool for each roll, you can also save money on shipping and import duties because it's less value for the product. And, and all that really shows in the end. So while filming this video in December 2020, one of these spools, 800 grams of filament, goes for around 170 Swedish kroner with included 25% tax, mums or vats. That's really cheap for quality filament, especially in Scandinavia. So there are some power users that are running like several kilos a week and they still want to reduce their waste. They have asked for better sides to, uh, to roll better on different types of spools. So Creative Tools are there for uh, prototyping a new product that they sent to me, which is, well, it's simply laser cut sides 
So here's one and here's one in its protective cover. And the idea is that you, you replace the cardboard with this one and it rolls better on di different types of filament rollers. It's also a little bit easier for the filament to like unspool if you... I don't think I'll need it for the 800 gram spools, but at least there is an option. And I guess what they want me to do is to kind of try it out. So I'll do that. Um, apparently for the 1.5 kilogram spools, these sides actually help a little bit more. So I guess if you buy the big rolls, Sure, you can get this product as well. But yeah, for me, I'll stick with the cardboard. I really enjoy that. I might not even print more of the cores just to save myself some filament. So when this green, army green or moss green is out, I'll be able to replace it with the other color. So if you live in Scandinavia and you want to check out these pools, you can buy them down below in the link. Not affiliated links, so yeah, check them out if you want to. Yeah, I really like the ID. Uh, again, building upon Richard Horn's original Master Spool, so you can check out Master Spool if you are around the world, because that's a more common product for everyone else in the world. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and if nothing else, have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> have a good one. Bye!